So this is my rocket stove. Um, I did a lot of uh, rocket stove R&D quite a long time ago uh, at this point and this is where I stopped and it was only because of time constraints. I just pulled this out of the junk pile. I've been hoping to get back to it. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just explain what this is, how it works, and turn it loose on you YouTube guys and maybe somebody else can uh, you know, run with the ball. My rocket stove was made out of uh, Schedule 80 pipe, uh, quarter inch wall tubing, and that piece there is just Schedule 40 pipe to build that chamber. For the uh, That's where the uh, fire actually is. The dimensions on this are uh, per Winnie Arsky's design. Those are hard to find, but there is a crude uh, drawing on graph paper uh, that floats around the internet, and this stove is based on those dimensions and it works like a champ. Uh, having access to all that uh, low fuel heat through this chamber made me think about uh, gasifying wood for fuel which uh, you know is also a real popular idea right now. The problem with that is that that fuel is typically dirty. Uh, pyrolyzing wood into hydrogen uh, is a dirty process. Uh, I tried to combat this with uh, this design. You can see this is just a typical rocket stove as far as that goes. I've got a steel tank mounted on it made from a uh, air compressor tank and if this is filled with uh, oh inch, inch and a half diameter uh, round sticks cut to uh, inch or so length they tumble through this okay and down into the uh, burn chamber which isn't finished. I don't have a lighting hole with an air adjustment in it and this pipe's not been sealed to the uh, to the chamber. You can see it's still full of wood. I burned this thing. It's been oh, five years ago which is why I'm going to go ahead and turn this loose so the next guy can run with it. But just looking at this anyone that's uh, studied paralysis uh, knows that what's going to happen here is you're going to have your uh, your fire down here, your wood through here, you're going to have wood gas build up in here and that's exactly what does happen. I've got this tube here and a lid. I've got a tube here to draw that fuel out in an oxygen free environment passing it through the hottest part of the stove which should be reaching uh, tar cracking uh, temperatures and it would have to be drawn through it won't flow naturally uh, but like I say this is just as far as I got with this I've not ran the fuel through an engine to see what it does and I seriously doubt that this steel tube is going to be the thing but it's good enough for testing but a ceramic tube run through here to run that fuel through would probably easily uh, take the temperature to crack tar now it might require some of the typical uh, coolers and uh, other devices that you see on the end of a uh, gasifier but it won't require a cyclone because there's not going to be any ash chunks or charcoal or anything like that through this design anyway this is a hell of a stove and uh, I don't know that this works but I do know that it produces gas I just don't know if it cracks tar so if anybody out there wants to uh, pick up the ball, run with it guys. <laughs>